Welcome back to 3 Shoe one Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, smash the like button. Let's get into the video. Today we're taking a look at the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the sand taupe colorway. Getting into the box, we can see at the top, which says 350 just like all Yeezy 350 boxes. Looking at the size tag, we can see the date these dropped, which was December 19th, 2020, and for $220 retail. Let's get into the shoe. Getting into the shoe, we can see that these are pretty similar to all the recent 350 V2 models. On the side, you can see a see-through stripe that's been on a lot of recent Yeezys, and I think it really makes the shoe pop. On the back of the shoe, we can see a little dark brown stripe that continues on to the bottom of the shoe. It's just another typical 350 bottom, and we can see that dark brown from before continues throughout the entire outsole. Identical to all other 350 models, it says Adidas and Yeezy on the insole of the shoe, and it has more of that sand taupe coloring. For the laces, recent 350 models have had this pull tab design instead of having regular laces. However, the shoe does come with an extra set of laces, which like recent 350 models, has a 3M reflectiveness to it that are regular laces, not pull tab. Let's take a look at the resale for the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the sand taupe colorway. These are currently sitting at high 200s to low 300s, depending on your size. We can look at past sale history and see that in early December it was around $1,000, then sharply dropped to $400 to $500, and continued dropping over the month. At around the time of the drop, these shoes were sitting at low 300s to high 200s. While most easy colorways are similar, this one is similar in the sense that it dropped recently and has a similar hype around it. These shoes are reselling now for three to four hundred depending on the size. The natural colorway also started at around a thousand dollars and sharply dropped early before sale and continued coasting down towards the 300 range. In more recent time, this shoe continued to climb slightly, sitting at around three hundred dollars depending on the size. Taking a look at a shoe that dropped in February of 2020, this shoe has been on the market for a lot longer but has very low hype around it. This shoe dropped down to around $200 to $300 depending on the size and over time hasn't climbed up much, now sitting at around that $300 mark. I don't really recommend picking up the shoe if you don't already have it because there isn't too much money to be made over time, however if you already have the shoe, you can hold it for a few months and expect to make some lunch money.